Zoom, zoom. You, my friend, look so good. Oh, oh. So in the previous video, I showed you guys that we found the official problem with this Toyota Camry. We found out why it was just dumping coolant everywhere and we found out that it was the water pump. So we're still waiting for the water pump. I think that's gonna be, that's gonna come in like another couple days, but we still have things to do. We need to go grab coolant. We need to go grab distilled water. We also need to grab a coolant cleaner, a chemical cleaner because it is really bad as I showed you in the previous video. Look, I'll show you again. So as you can see down there, it is quite rusty. The water in there, is really dirty looking like you can see it's just kind of like chilling right there it's really bad so the water pump as well you can see that it's seen better days it's rusty everywhere and the thermostat is also something you need to get i'm also having trouble with the thermostat i can't remove it because it's just like rusted in there i don't know if there's like a way that i could pry it out without breaking it but i just don't want to risk it and i may as well just buy one because we've taken it all apart anyway so we're going to head off get some coolant get some distilled water the cooling flush chemical cleaner a new thermostat from Repco, um, and hopefully we can get this car fixed by the end of the week and give it a test drive. Really hoping they have the thermostat in stock so I don't have to wait, because I just got confirmation that the, um, the water pump is in, so we can actually do it today. Repco, baby, please have my parts. Nice guys, they had it in stock. We got the thermostat, thermostat uh, gasket. Um, so that means we'll be able to do it tonight, hopefully. Um, we'll get everything done tonight. That means the car might be actually running tonight. So I just need to find distilled water, coolant, then we're set, because Lachlan's getting the water pump. Hell yeah. Oh, she looking so good. Woo. It's pretty funny because usually I'm like using the Camry to commute around while looking for MR2 parts. But today, it's the opposite way. We're in the MR2 looking for Camry parts. For all the Camry subscribers out there, hope you're enjoying this because we have another Camry. Surely, surely you can't watch my videos. <laughs> Here's the brand that we got. We got some Deco thermostats, thermostat, and the Deco um, gasket as well, thermostat gasket. Hopefully it all fits. I hope it's the right parts. Um, there's all these like weird gasket things in the back too. I don't even know what they're for, but we'll figure it out. We're now at Super Cheap Auto. He's, he's 18 minutes away. And we have we have Mr. Nathaniel. Hello. Who has joined us. Let's yeah. go get this water pump and fix the camera. Alright, we're back at the Rex H garage. We have Nathaniel and Lachlan here to help us try to fix this water pump. No, just just no. Lachlan, why just... do you floor it everywhere? <laughs> So we have all the new parts, which I'll show you in a sec. We have the water pump, um, thermostat, A water gaskets. pump is just a water-driven turbo. <laughs> <laughs> gaskets, um, we have coolant. I think I already said that. We're just going to flush everything through and hopefully get this car running tonight. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because we still got to put the timing belt on and everything back together um, and then flush everything, which is going to be a little bit of a pain, but we might get it running today. So we're going to have Nathan, the vacuum cleaner, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be brushing this with a toothbrush, trying to get rid of all the debris, um, all the rust and everything. And Nathan's gonna vacuum it all up. Yeah, it's like um, a de think of it as like a, a just a dental checkup. You know, you have the the dentist here, you have the doctor, oh, yeah. <laughs> you have the doctor, and then you have the niño. So it's been about an hour of just pretty much trying to pick away at this at the gasket for the water pump and I've just been using like a razor to get rid of it off and the chisel. Um, I didn't use a wire wheel because I don't think that it's a very good idea because you could just apply too much pressure and you could cause like a problem in the flat surface. But here's the result. You can see if I go and flick up a before and after, there's a crazy difference. Like you can see like, you can see that everything's nice and cleaned up and we, we should be able to just like run this over with a thousand grit and um, and everything should be pretty smooth. Cause you fucking picked that that you went. Nathan, tell us, tell us what we've done. We have taken off the old gasket off the water pump. <laughs> Hello, my name's Nathan. <laughs> So here's the um the brand new water pump and you can see it's the exact shape as the original of course It's not going to be any other different shape and we also have the gasket here So here we go. Here's the uh, new water pump and here's the old water pump and you can if you spin this You can't hear any sort of sound, but if we spin this 
You can hear it all rat rattling and everything, it and that's was because coming out underneath. It was probably leaking underneath the pulley. Yeah, you can and see all the water there as well. Like, you yeah, can that's see probably just... where it came out. Of. Exactly. So the bearing could have just like messed up, and then yeah, we have total failure of the water pump. That's why we obviously bought this, and it comes with a gasket for the um, thermostat as well, which is really good. So we have the gasket for the. Th oh wait, that's not the gasket for the thermostat, but we have the gasket. Obviously, only goes in one way, and it looks like it's a really good gasket. So I think we'll just chuck this on without using gasket maker. Lachlan's currently putting the um, gasket on that comes with the kit and we found that it fits perfectly over the water inlet pipe that goes to the uh, uh, water pump so that's very good that this kit comes with it. Previous one's all. Yeah, the previous one's fucked so that would have caused a, a water leak. Would have been another leak, yeah. Yeah. Because you can all see right. it's torn. Alright, so I've gone ahead and cleaned up the, um, the, uh, what do you call it, the gasket from the, wa the water pump and I'm pretty satisfied with like how it is right now so I'm going to go ahead and chuck the, ga the gasket and the water pump on, hopefully. We can get this started tonight. Way better than what it was before. Because I, because Rex hasn't given me any jobs, I have to occupy myself in other ways. So. Nathan is next level bored right now. And just like that, we have a $700 job completed in my garage, all by myself pretty much. Obviously with the help of Nathan and Lachlan and holy crap, that's satisfying. Brand new water pump, feels amazing. Obviously it's new. <laughs> Let's get the rest of this stuff put together, then finally start draining the coolant and clear clearing it out. Obviously gotta put the thermostat back in, all the pipes. Woo, we got a long morning, guys. Well guys, timing belt's on. Let's. So close, we're nearly there. Oh my god. Because Lachlan and I don't have a vice. We are going to be doing something a little bit uh, cheeky. We're going to go to Bunnings and we're going to try to compress the tensioner at Bunnings and hopefully we can get the Allen key through the hole so then we can have the te uh, tensioner compressed. Um, it's going to be fun. <laughs> bit illegal? It's not illegal because it's only illegal if you get caught. Or you damage the uh, device. Oh, let's not damage it then. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Bunnings Warehouse. Where lowest prices are just the beginning. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> All right, operation, find vice. Let's begin. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> quick, 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 hurry up, hurry up. Operation success. Look at that, we have the thing fully compressed thanks to Lachlan over here. <laughs> yeah, the vice will even screw down to the table for us. It's, it's like they knew we were coming <laughs> Look at that. All right, so we have the tension up. Hang on. It's the OG days. Camry BMW. Oh my god. So we have the tensioner all um, ready to go. All I need to do is like kind of like put that Allen key out a bit further. Yeah, there you go, there's the tensioner. So all we need to do is just quickly install that. Fingers crossed guys, we're about to put the uh, negative terminal back on. Hopefully we don't screw anything up. So we have a little bit of a problem. Um, when we put the timing belt on, we've realized that we uh, let go of the tensioner with the belt kind of off the water pump pulley. It like should be out a little bit, but Lachlan and I think that it'll straighten up when we start the car. So we're gonna start the car for the first time. Hopefully it doesn't leak any oil or coolant. That's the I main think thing. the main concern is hopefully it starts. I guess so, hopefully <laughs> it starts after all this. We've got the belt back on. We need to obviously put everything back together, but we're just gonna try to start it as is. And hopefully, hopefully it all goes well. All right, guys, here we go. Looks like Lachlan and I were both right. The belt did line up when the car was on, obviously, because in the position that it is after the belt starts, gets, starts to get running, it eventually just moves over. As you can see there, instead of being all the way down there, it's all lined up. So all we need to do now is pretty much take the car off the jack stands. Oh, we still need to drain everything and put yeah. the fluid through Start it. Start bleeding it. Yeah. And reattach all the, uh, the covers and whatnot. Yes, Make true. Sure pretty.
So after around five hours of work, we finally have the Camry running and it does not it's not making any of those weird sounds. We also have all the boys here to witness this. We've also made quite a bit of a mess, so I'm gonna clean this up, go get something to eat first, because I haven't eaten all day, then worry about bleeding the Camry and getting the coolant like um, nice and uh, clear, because right now if we put coolant in or any sort of liquid in, it's just gonna be like really murky. But it doesn't make that scoring sound that we heard. When we first started yeah, it, the grinding bearing noise. Yeah, we, that, we thought that was a massive problem. Like yeah, we, we thought, thought it was going to be like, gonna be like tick or something like that. Yeah, because like the car like hadn't been run with coolant uh, for a while, obviously, because the guy the guy obviously was just filling up with water and not proper coolant. So yeah, um, we're going to be able to drive this thing today. I'm so excited. <laughs> For some reason, we have the most impossible radiator cap and even a Porsche mechanic, Mr. Andrew over here, Big. can't remove it. <laughs> Just throw it at it. Hold on. So what the Porsche mechanic is doing right now is he's filling us, filling up the radiator and all the cooling system up with some water because we're also, we're just using um, garden water because the water here isn't really that bad. Um, we have really good flush stuff and we're gonna use this uh, coolant radiator flush and clean. Just mix it in, turn the car on for 20 minutes and let that soak through. <laughs> No. Andy? <laughs> Don't like to think called Andy. I'll just call him Mr. Porsche Mechanic. Porsche Mechanic. Porsche, Porsche Technician. Mechanic figure out how to fucking open this bottle. Porsche there Technician. Hold on. Ready? Oh. Ah! <laughs> the thing we got to do is run this coolant thing for 20 minutes and then then drain it and then we're going to repeat the process to get a really good flush because you saw how bad it was. If this video gets a thousand likes or just a video of me squirting Rex with the fucking hose oh, for 10 minutes. <laughs> just 10 minutes of Rex getting soaked. really nice that is quite <laughs> oh yum the thing is dude if, if the next one comes out looking like this you should do another flush before you put your coolant in yeah i know of what just pure water i just put, put pure water in maybe here yeah. i don't know why ad you found this so funny but <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot about Hey, what does the yeah. car run on? Yeah, I, comple I completely, completely forgot that the car needs, needs fuel, fuel to run. So, it, it's actually really low right now. We bought it with like no petrol. So, Lachlan and Yaki had to head up and get some fucking fuel for the car. It's funny as. Hey, Dude, bro. it's got some uh, Primo fuel now. What'd you put in some it? Some Primo 91. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's gross. <laughs> Looks We're in the like sewers, a... boys. Looks like some solid cranberry juice. Teenage Wait. Mini Ninja Turtles. So I reckon we, once, once, once this liquid starts coming out clear, we do this, what we just did, with just water again. Yep. And then, and then we, the and, well, depends how it comes out again. Yep. If it comes out really still shit, we'll just do, keep doing it until it comes out exactly. sort of, sort of okay. And then we'll do the flush the last time. Yep. This is bleed number four, and it is still murky as shit. This is our flush number five, looking still pretty brown. Why is it brown? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, are you secretly shitting in there or something? No. <laughs> Your camera is. <laughs> Flush number six, still nice and brown, but a little bit better. A little bit, a little bit. We're about to go for our first little drive, boys. You excited, Rex, or just oh, grumpy? I don't know, dude. I don't know how I feel about this. We just have it filled up with water right now. Nothing amazing. But just, you gotta watch that, watch that fucking that temperature gauge. Yeah, I know. What, oh, can I just... can watch it on the camera. The temperature. And he floors it the very first time he drives it, he floors it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I don't want to drive with no coolant. <laughs> floors it. <laughs> you can hear the belt squeaking at high RPM as well. Fucking moves. Do you know what else is good? Look at right. that temperature gauge. It hasn't, not moving. hasn't moved. Maybe that's because of your premium bleeding, Andrew. So Rex tried to ignore me when it came to bleed. Yeah, I just got impatient. That's that's me. If you don't know me, then you don't... Well, I mean, if you know me, you know I'm impatient as fuck. You happy? Fuck! Jesus, dude. That was crazy. It's good. It goes. It moves. <laughs> No, no rev bashing like you like um, to do. Can I, can I have the keys? Oh, you want the keys? Yes. What's the What's the secret password? Rex is a Unsubscribe to Rex H. <laughs> oh, yeah. keys, keys, keys. <laughs> Doesn't really move with all of us in the car. <laughs> it felt way quicker before. <laughs> quicker before. <laughs> Ever seen? Why did I buy? How many blades did we do tonight? Nine, eight. 
do like ten. Like now. <laughs> You guys, one day you're going to be doing this and the MR2 is going to be here and you're going to be taking the engine out to put it in the MR2. How does that make you feel? It's still very good inside. Yeah. When's that going to be? I can't give you time yet. <laughs> this is the next day. I'm so glad that this car is back together after all this time. God damn, all on the ground, all ready to go. So the car is pretty much nearly there. All we need to do is get the coolant in the car and then properly bleed it. We just put water in the car for now because we're still in the process of just draining all the um, all the rust out and getting rid of all the crap that's still in the cooling system. We're on the final stretch to being able to like proper, proper drive this thing. Like we saw us driving it, but we weren't able to like, I guess do it for too long because something could go wrong, but we still have heaps to do to the car. All I want to do now is pretty much just like clean it up um, a little bit better, get rid of all the spiderwebs and stuff because we found so many spiders in here, it's kind of gross. Also want to fix up that interior panel, that little bit of flappy uh, door card, need to fix that up. And I guess just clean everything up in the engine bay because we want this car working 100% before we decide to do anything uh, with the car. So if you weren't following, we fixed this car with just the water pump and a the thermostat cost us around $200, which is substantially cheaper than going to get it done at Toyota. So we definitely saved a lot of money doing it ourselves. Um, it was a little bit of a headache, you know, trying to get that all done, but it was definitely not a bad job um, considering that we could do it in our garage with the tools that we had. Really happy about that. Anyway, so in the next video, we're gonna probably bleed this, clean it up and take it for a proper drive. And because it's only done 127,000 Ks, we need to do some more Ks. We need to, we need to put some age on this motor. <laughs> Hope you are, you're catching my drift. <laughs> there you go. Thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one.